Hi everybody, this is Missy Nelson, your 31 Gifts Director with Team 30 Wonders. And I want to quickly walk you through how to create a party event for your website so that your hostess's friends and family can go straight to your website and order from her party. To do this, you're going to start at 31today.com. From there, you're going to click on Manage My Business. Under Manage My Business, you're going to scroll down and click on Parties. After you click on Parties, your My Events page will load. And on the right side, hand side, you're going to see all of the open and active party events that you have currently going on that have not been closed out. On the left hand side, to create a new party event, you're going to click on the second option, Party Event. This is going to bring up all of the hostesses details and all of the party details that you're going to want to put into the system. So you're simply going to choose the party date here. We're going to do October uh, the 4th, Saturday, October 4th. And then um, your planned closing date. So I usually close my home parties two days after the party. So I'm going to choose October 6th for the closing date. And then you're going to choose your party time. We're going to do 7 p.m. here. And then the description. The description is very important because this is what your party guests are going to see when they go to your website and they're looking for their friend, their hostess. I like to keep this very simple, so I am just going to use the first and the last name of my hostess. Event details, I personally don't put anything in the event details box, but this is just a short little message that you can write to the party guests. Maybe the fall catalog just came out and you can't wait for them to see it. You can type that in here and they'll get your message when they click on their hostess's party event. Address, this is for the actual physical party. So if your hostess is having her party at a restaurant, you're going to want to put the address to the restaurant here. Um, in this case, the party event is at the hostess's house, so I'm going to put the hostess's address in here. You're going to scroll down, and everything is defaulted here, so you don't have to worry about these boxes. And then you're going to scroll down to email. This is your hostess's email address. And password. Password is going to be your hostess's last name. That's what I do. Oh, I'm sorry. What's our hostess's last name? Her last name's Baker. Okay, so there we go. And then the first and last name again of your hostess and her address. You're going to put the address where you're either going to deliver the party order or where the party order is going to be shipped to. And then the hostess's telephone number goes down here and that's your last step. After you've filled in all of that information, you're going to click Save and Continue. And then it says the event information has been updated. That means it was successful and now that party event is on your website. Just to make sure that it showed up, you can check by clicking on My Events and scrolling through all of your open active events. So I'm looking for Laura Baker and there she is, Laura Baker. Awesome. So that is how you put a new party event on your website so that friends and family of the hostess can shop directly through their friend's party. Hope this helps, guys. Thanks.